I don't need your pretty speeches. I just need the truth. Well, I think we're both way past lying to each other at this point. So what are you saying? I can count on you? You'll be here for me when I get out of here? After everything that's happened, Emily, why, why would you want me? It's not an answer. I need to know. I'm not good for you. And that is as honest an answer as I can give. So you're saying it's over? You're through with me? I would never turn my back on you, ever. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you moved on. And I should too. I guess we both know why. We're just not healthy for each other. I mean, what started out as passion has turned destructive. Emily, look, it almost, it almost killed you. This is about one thing and one person, Meg. telling me is that you don't want me anymore. I guess I know what I have to do. I've got nothing left now. No, don't, don't, don't even say that, okay? You are an incredibly strong woman, Emily. Nobody knows that more than I do. You, you've helped me through some, some very difficult times, horrible times. And now you need to use that strength to get yourself better. For what? For yourself. And for your son. I've lost my son. I've lost you. I've lost everything. I've lost my self-respect. That only happens if you let it. Don't, Emily. Do not let this destroy you. It already has. <laughs> Oh, God, all I ever wanted was for you to love me. <laughs> and if you can't do that, then just get out. <laughs> Take this with you. It means nothing to me. And to you, it never did. So just get out. Take it and get out. Tell Meg I want to talk to her, please. I don't think that's a good idea. Just ask her to come in, please. <sighs> She's asking to see you. Oh, that can't be good. I'll tell her you left. No, no, no. Uh... That's not what you wanted to hear. That's not true. Nobody deserves to go through what you suffer. Please I... don't, don't say anything, okay? I will keep this short and sweet. I'm not gonna thank you for saving my life. Because I don't think you did me a favor. But I'm gonna give you some advice. Get away from Paul. He destroys everything he touches. Unless you want to turn out like me. Get out where you can.
Well, you must be starving. You were at the hospital all night. You know, I could order us up some breakfast. Coffee. Coffee would be great. Hi, this is Meg Snyder. Would I be able to get a big pot of coffee and a basket of muffins, please? Uh, milk will be fine. A and some fresh fruit. Uh, that'll do it. Thanks. Take my chances. Besides, I'd like to prove her wrong. <laughs> 